Hey, baby dolls, there's been a lot of commotion with Richard Hart, Hex, Ehex, Pulse Chain, what's going on? Well, look, if you remove the information of the news, which is the news coming out, I know it's not a centralized source, but if you remove that out and you just look at the charts, it basically says what it said before. Pulse and Pulse X are cycle one coins and people understand them more and their ratios are gaining on Hex in a risk on environment. That's also important. Something else also important, the EHEX PHEX ratio, when it already knew Richard's not buying it and it already knew about the bank X wall. So the EHEX PHEX ratio before was 0.6. It went down to 0.16. So it dropped like 70 or 80% or whatever it is. All right. So it already did that. Now, I'm not saying to go do anything, but yeah, EHEX is now basically its own independent meme coin thing, which is basically, friends, they've always been that <laughs> newsflash, right? Staking's pretty much considered a meme now. It is, it is. And you can't defend it. How are you going to defend it now? How are you going to say, well, I'm going to lock up my money for 15 years, even though one guy can tweet something and it goes down 70%. You don't know, friends. Look, what if Richard tweets, I'm going on a holiday for a year, guys, or I got sick. Hey, guys, my health isn't that good. Don't worry. You know, it's going to take like a year. What's going to happen? They're all gone. Emergency end stake, bang. Does that sound like store of value to you? Does, does Bitcoin drop 70% in a day because of one guy's tweet? It doesn't. It's a different risk parameter. So I want you to think about now. Look, think about this. I'm not concerned why. It's because it's still bottom prices. I'm not concerned. And I can actually show you the, the charts themselves. They're not anything to be concerned about, friends, because we haven't played out the whole bull market. That's the most important thing of all. If you look at the EHEX USD price chart, you see here it's around 0 0.53. It's in this tiny, tiny little bounce, tiny around here. It's actually back to where it was in December. Funny that, right? Richard tweeting, you're now useless. And then it comes back to where it was just a few months ago. So that's just something to take note about. Now, there still is the Bank X wall. It probably will get chewed one day. That'd be funny if it gets chewed one day. But they might move it down. Who knows? Okay, so that's the important part. Now, why is it important? We're still in depression price zone for HEX. It's still depression prices. I'm not concerned about this bad news FUD. It's going to give you some memories of like the bear market, right? But when we enter euphoria, you can't look at the price anymore. You have to say, crap, man, I thought the prices would be higher, but the prices aren't higher. This is euphoric price. You're going to have to do something to trim yourself. You have to get out yourself. You have to rotate into Bitcoin or Ethereum, things that don't drop 70% in a day because of one guy's tweet. You know what I mean? And you might say, well, PHEX went up on that tweet. What about him buying? Yes, that's today. Okay. Nobody told you that Hex, EHEX could do this uh, a year and a half ago. No one. More uncertainty. Okay. So that's just something to think about. When Euphoria arrives and there are non-believers buying stuff, that's what you really got to think. Now, they might not buy directly the coin, but they buy Ethereum and everything else. That's why it's just it's really important to pay attention who you're buying with. If you're holding, you're buying. Who are you buying with, friends? A hold is the same thing as a buy. Okay. Now, you're also going to see a lot of the influencers walk back on their things like, no, 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 I said to be in both of them, all this and that, friends, because it's hard to wrestle when Richard Hart's constantly kind of like his actions are doing different stuff compared to what he was doing before moving money around and doing basically a trade. And now he's long Ethereum. Like, is anybody prepared? What if Ethereum goes back to 3,200? You know what I mean? The market's going to see his credibility is dropping again. Remember, I'm just a messenger. I don't make any of the decisions myself. All I know is I look for pre prices low and I look for prices high. And when prices are low and they keep dropping, I'm like, well, that's why I give myself a year and a half, two years, three years, a long period of time. Okay, so... Still going to make it, man. Prices are cheap. Look, it just goes back down here. Look at this again. EHEX. It just goes back down to the bottom of the range here. I just don't know how high it's going to go. Like I said, just going to repeat. Man, all friends and family, there is absolutely no way now you can tell them to stay hex long term. No way. So you can say to them, hey, it's still going up and then this and that. And look at the, look at the technically this and that. You can say that to them, but they're not stupid. They look at the chart. They type in hex. They look at a linear chart. They go, wow, this thing's down 99%. Oh, okay, EHEX, oh, but you guys moved. Oh, well, what if what if we have to move again? And I, what, what if we have to move again and I make the wrong decision? Too many decision points. Now you've got them in the mindset of looking for cheaper deals. And they're wondering, okay, why, have them, why look for a cheaper deal in a cycle two coin? Why not look for a cheap deal in a cycle one coin? 
why not look for stuff that actually goes up instead of down after three years? Because Hex is going to start approaching friends soon. The three-year mark since the top, still down 95%, while Bitcoin breaks its all-time high, closes a day above its all-time high, and everything else. So these all of these teething FUD issues that happen at these bottoms. It is what it is. Everybody's just waiting for Richard to pump it now. That's pretty much what everyone's basically it's come down to. All the conferences, all the onboarding, everything going on. It is what it is. So remember, at no point did I ever tell you that to make it, you have to know what comes like right around the corner because you never know. Okay, it's always random. We can try to smell it, but you never really know. My goal is buying the depression, selling the euphoria, wherever the price for euphoria is. Yeah, oh, sweet. You wanted to buy in some ICO and some meme coin that went up 400x? Golly gee. All right, we'll keep looking for those. And when you find them, send them to me before they've gone up 50x. So I can try to help everybody. But you get to see the randomness and how chaotic everything is. But, you know, interpreting all of these, look, I'm not going to critique. I never critique Richard ever. I'll never say anything. It is what it is. He wants to do something like that. Well, guess what, man? I'm just telling his friends. Have you considered what will happen if eHex recovers from this? You ever thought about that? You think, oh my gosh, not even the founder can tweet this thing to zero. Just think about that. Now, here's the thing. I had that idea beforehand. It's just that the ratio wasn't lucrative back then. It was 0.6. It was not moving. But now, I mean, look at this. It's actually bouncing back from that very, very low. It's up from the bottom. It's up 50% from the low. It's funny, you know what I mean? So, friends, this is funny when... It's not me talking, it's you guys talking. When Richard, Ricardo Corazon, does his whole gaslighting tweet where he quotes from the very, very bottom, watch after this video, friends, I'm going to show me, I'm going to make a tweet right now and I'm going to go, hey guys, I can do the gaslighting thing too. I'm going to quote Ehex from the very bottom, all right, from the very bottom and go, look at this, Ehex is up 49% against Phex. I guess the market has chosen Phex. You see what I mean? You see what I mean? You just go, oh, no, but change it from a different date. You're just cherry-picking stuff. It's just marketing things here and there. You could, well, why can't you say that? If, if he's quoting a USD price, well, you know, friends, you're down on your Ethereum ratio still from the Pulse Chain Sacrifice. So all these things are like marketing points and story creation and labeling and throwing things poopy at the wall to see what sticks. You don't need to know these, but we're all along this journey because we're hunting for, we're always shifting through the junk to try and find that beautiful gem of information. We're in a ratio is disconnecting here and there. This could be friends. This is literally it. Luckily for you, you got a friend like me saying, well, you know, this ratio, I like it. This is way too cheap for me. That's it. Friends, I always put my neck out on the line. I always put my neck out on the line. What? Okay, let me tell you something. What would I have to say to you to get more likes, more views, and more acceptance. You know what I have to say? You, I would have to be saying, Ehex is trash. Look, the market's gone down. Red candle. See, everybody hates, hates Ehex. Let's go to Phex now, guys. Come on, community fight. Blah, 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 blah. Look what Richard said. That's what, remember the crypto trilemma problem. I make money, you make money. Reputation risk. Right now, reputation risk for me. But I don't give a shit, friends. That's it. You take 10 punts, you're going to lose one or three. Okay, you got to win on the rest. That's it. That's why you hold your winners to glory. The bull market's not done yet. So think about this, okay? What would I need to say to you to get more views and become Mr. Popular? It would be like, oh, no, Ehex, no, it's down for a reason. That's what Mr. That's what Mr. Popular will be saying. What's Mr. Unpopular saying? Mr. Unpopular is put on a weekly chart, okay, for this ratio and saying, you know, I don't think you should be down here. I think the crowd is wrong again. And I've actually put in, put in a little coffin emoji. Let's see how that plays out, okay? Friends, I'm telling you, the chaotic nature of markets and all these, you really got to think, we, you, me, we have to think about when there's euphoria, you think, all right, if this is the top, look at the people and their schizophrenia that I have to rely on for the next two to three years after this point, if this is a bear market. If that scares you, it should. It should scare you. Now, euphoria is not here, but when it does happen, you got to think, man, you got to think. Oh, does it, the, remember, friends, every single narrative about Hex basically went to zero. They said, well, billionaire, um, sorry, the really rich dudes won't need a dump because they're really rich. Wrong. Uh, roll it dear one. Everybody capitulate the crap out of it at its lows. They say, hey, Richard Hart has no man left behind policy and he um, he wants to see Hex valuable on both chains. Wrong. No, he doesn't really. You know what I mean? Doesn't mean it's going to go to zero, right? Just because Richard doesn't like something doesn't mean it doesn't go to zero, okay? It's, the network, I know, I hate to admit this, the network of Ethereum is bigger than Richard Hart. Richard Hart is small to, compared to it. The network of Ethereum has 30 million people. They still see eHex as normal Hex. 
it still has mind share there. Okay, now you might say they hate it, but guess what? You've run out of sellers and there's some meme coin factor about it, anything can happen. While the more, more, way more silly things can happen, that's all. All right, so there's a lot of these things going on. I'm sharing this insight with you because where else are we going to get it here and there? So it's taken me a while to just figure this out, but no, really, I mean, hey, price went down. It is what it is. Now you see, friends, look, when I'm just telling, hey, I'm, let's say I'm going to rotate profits from something, it's a no-brainer, Pulse and Pulsex. Now, you can take your T-shares, right? You can take shares. And not, look, here's the thing, friends. If people want to say, stay X long-term, 5, 10, 15 years, God bless you. I'm just going to tell you one thing. The founder of your coin, Ricardo Corazon, just said, you know what, EHEX T-shares, you just can suck it. He basically said that. And that's shocked everyone. And everyone's like, if you've said EHEX T-shares can go suck it, what's to stop you from saying PHEX T-shares can go suck it one day in the future? What if they're a chain around the pole chain? See, you might say, oh, that'll never happen. Look, look at all the things that wouldn't happen, friends. Down 99.5%, you know what I mean? So nothing has to be made drastic as a decision right now, but I did add EHEX. I bought more lottery tickets on it, okay? I bought more lottery tickets on this cheap. I just don't know what expensive is, all right? So I can just show you. Yes, it's moving down here. By the time you see this video, things are moving fast. I don't know, man. Look, and by the way, it can go down even lower. Of course it can. These things can always go lower. Like, oh, no, you're worth up here. But this is actually ridiculous if you do it down here. But it's already ridiculous here. Yes, friends, it can go lower. It can. And then maybe comes back to this range. I don't know. It doesn't even have to do anything. You don't know. I'm just trying to look at this. Okay, I'm just trying to look at maybe this happens again. I don't know. Maybe it's downtrending over time. But, you know, see, there's a bull market ahead. There's plenty of opportunity. Now you know why, man. 90% call, 10% lottery. Okay. I bet you ain't feeling too stupid for your 10% lottery now. Think about like Tang Gang or Teddy Bear. This is a funny thing, friends. Uh, they can't even be dropped 70% like that. Think about it, which means they're either better coins or EHEX is oversold. And it's just like a really, really panic capitulation from the market. It's either one or the other. Either all the Pulse Chain meme coins, Tangang, Pedi, Teddy Bear, Atropa, everything, Richard's only brother, they're like, they could be just better. Maybe they're better. Or maybe EHEX is just oversold. So you're going to have to wrestle that however you want. I know I'm adding EHEX, but I don't know where expensive is. I'll be honest. I have no idea expensive. If I was to just take a guess, like I said, I don't know, back to this range, like it was up here before. Think about it. It loved having value here and having value here before. Okay. So if you just take that range again, you never know, man. Maybe it just comes back here. It is what it is. And you already know, man. Ain't no one's, 99% of people aren't buying PHEX to stake it. They're buying PHEX because they think it's going to go to a dollar. That's pretty much why they're buying it. So the whole notion of EHEX's gas fees, yeah, they suck. But actually, friends, I don't know if you realize this, the EHEX being expensive kind of like is bullish now because all those people have to let low stakes bleed out. They basically just lose all their money. They can't dump now. They're basically giving away money for free to everybody who's like still holding, who can't afford to stake it and stuff. So think about this stuff going forward. Friends, remember, I'm still wearing a Pikachu hat. Hey, it's a great opportunity, but we'll see what happens with the rest of the market. Bull mark's not over yet. Like, subscribe, belly button, or catch you soon.